Welcome to this demonstration of Mobsite.com. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a mobile website from scratch. First, I'm going to log in. I've already registered a user account with Mobsite.com, but user registration is free and it only takes a couple of minutes. Once I'm logged in, I will be brought to the dashboard where I can see sites that are already under my account. As you can see, I have one site listed here as a professional site and another site listed as a premium site. I'm not going to edit or change any of these. In this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and create a new website by clicking on the New Website button. Once I click on the New Website button, I'm brought to a screen where I can select a template. I'm going to scroll over until I find one that suits my company needs. And I think I'll go with this one by clicking the Select Template button. Next I have a few choices of different color schemes. I'll go ahead and click this one. And now I can choose the different business categories. Uh, I am building a consultant website, so let's go ahead with this one. Now that I've made those choices, I'm in the web page configuration area where I can redesign the whole website. First I'm going to go ahead and change the logo by clicking on the logo button. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of the website here. And then I'm going to change the company logo by going into my existing files and selecting a new logo. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to click Save and Return. Now that I've changed the logo and the website name, I can go through and make changes to the rest of the website. Here I'm going to change this to the About Us page. And let's select an image for that. And the description doesn't quite fit my needs, so I'm going to go ahead and copy in some predetermined text that I've written and save those changes. Now I can see those changes by clicking the About Us and it comes up in the preview pane to the right. Next let's modify the services to be products. Save that. And I'm going to go through and delete a couple of these because at this point in time I only have one product that I'm selling. So let's change corporate solutions to Polycom phones. And I have an image for the product that I'm selling. And I have a short description that we can put in there. Now I'm going to click Save on that. And again, I can click on these options and it comes up as a preview and I can simply see what that's going to look like on a mobile device. Now the location is going to show us a map. By default it looks like we have New York, a New York, New York address in there. So I'm going to go ahead and call this Find Us and change the name to John's Phone Headquarters and I'm going to go ahead and use a predetermined address. This happens to be the Red Sox Spring Training location. And we'll go ahead and use that. And you can see how the map is updated automatically. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now if I go ahead and click on the Find Us again, you'll see that it brings up the display of what we looked at before. Next I'm going to go down here where it says consulting and this is where it lists some phone numbers. I don't necessarily want any phone numbers so I'm going to go ahead and remove that section. Now the last option down below is contact us. I'm going to change that to email us and we have an email form as you can see which is automatically populated. So I'm just going to go down and click save 
And now all the site pages are how I want them to be. Next I'm going to go over here and click on the slider options. As you can see, the slider is a list of different images that are rotating through. I don't particularly like these two images, so I'm going to go ahead and delete both of these. And I want three pictures, so I'm going to go ahead and add a third one. And that's uploading. So let's click Save and Return. That will bring me back to the preview. Now I can see the three different images that I've selected. Now I also have the option to make some style changes. I'm pretty comfortable with what I have so far, so I'm not going to change anything there. Then we also have SEO options built in. I'm not doing this for real production use, so as a demonstration, I'm just going to show you what your options are here. And then our last option below is to give us the ability to integrate with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Foursquare, another web page. Uh, with upgrades, you're able to add LinkedIn accounts, Google+, uh, many other options with a pro or a premium plan. I'm pretty satisfied with everything, so let's take a quick preview of what this would look like. I can see my company logo. I can see the slider with the three different images. I have my title here, that is my company name. And then I have my About Us page that can tell me about my company. I also have the Products page, which is rendered for a phone. And then we have the Find Us for the map, as well as an email page. So I'm pretty satisfied with this overall, so I'm going to go ahead and click Publish to the web. At this point, it's going to ask me if I want a free, pro, or a premium plan. I'm going to go ahead and use the free plan. Now I need to select a particular domain name. I'm just going to use my name, John, and consulting. Now I'm not going to upgrade my plan for a custom web domain, but I could if I wanted to. So I could have johnsconsulting.com or any available domain that was still listed. I'm going to click Save and Publish, and now my domain name has been created. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of mobsite.com. As you can see, it's very easy to create a mobile website. I encourage you to go ahead and register for a free account, testing our mobile websites and seeing how they work on a real device.